I didn't see you there. The crowd of 50 old people who will watch this video. I'm Mike Marsden, and you may be wondering, hey, I just watched you in a video, which was uploaded at exactly the same time, it's taken in exactly the same place, and you're wearing exactly the same clothes. No, I'm not a weirdo like Dave Days, who only has one shirt. I recorded these videos together, but there was so much quality material, by quality I mean I don't have the heart to edit out half the crap in my videos, that I've turned my 14 minute bonanza into two videos. Enjoy! BBC have, for some reason, stopped showing crafts. They've dropped it. So, you know, ITV will snatch it up, the scavengers they are. Um, yeah, so Crufts, um, is no longer shown. Now, like most people who don't have ridiculous looking dogs, I hate Crufts, because it's boring, and I think the way the dogs are treated is pretty cruel, and stuff. And I was, there was this story I heard, um, there are these dogs with long hair, and to win the prize your dog has to look really stupid. You know, it has to look like an alien that was designed by the Harry Bow Kid. Um, so this dog had hair over there, and it was causing it to have an eye infection, which no one could see because of the hair, and it was blind. And the Crufts were a vet, it went to a vet just before Crufts, who cut its hair, like there. Um, and the owner got really mad and threatened to sue, and the the vet just basically said, I don't care, you're being mean and horrible to this dog. I'm sure he said it exactly like that, like a like a 15 year old who sounds pretty camp and a bit like an 11 year old. He said, you're being mean to this dog, you are, and um, I don't care. And he got sued and he's now dead. No, he didn't get sued. Um, I don't know, apart from that. But I thought that was pretty ballsy of the vet. What, what, not as ballsy as his prices though, because I was looking, walking past a vet and I see why you get animal insurance now. Animal insurance, that's what it's called. Pet insurance, whatever. Um, I see why now. Um, they are not cheap. And in pop band news, I'm going to um, infuriate Blur fans now because I'm labelling them as pop. I like that one Blur song, never been that into them, but they've reformed! She's gonna, cause when Blur and Oasis were around in the 90s, they had like fights and cussed each other in the press. And now, let's face it, they're both pretty old. You know, they were all born in the 60s. So now they're just gonna, they're not like really up to throwing dustbins at each other anymore. So they're just gonna be like making hateful phone calls. You're rubbish! Yeah, shut up! You're not fresh anymore! Yeah, you did a reunion just for the money. Oh yeah, what are you doing, Oasis? Sorry, Oasis never said that. But they're kind of annoying me. I like Oasis quite a lot. I think they're good. Um, I hate Noel Gallagher, but I like the music. Noel Gallagher first annoyed me when I watched the Brit Awards, probably 2006 or 2007. Anyway, he came on and was basically... So he got this best artist in the world ever, king of everything here, have an award award, and he was like, we've got so many of these new, because you know, he is from Huddersfield, we've got so many of these new, we don't even give a toss, like being all uppity about it, okay, it's the Brit Awards, it's like the biggest music award in Britain, as a British band, that is it, it's like the Oscars of British music, so shut up, and then when, um, thing he played Glastonbury, Jay-Z played Glastonbury, they were all like, oh, you can't have him play Glastonbury, me, 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 why didn't you invite us, bit jealous, um, and then when he played Wonderwall, he did pretend to play guitar, kind of annoying, but then they came back with a Wonderwall themed song to the chords of Wonderwall, saying bad stuff about Jay-Z, including that he was old, and not fresh anymore, okay? What album are you on now, lads? In other pop news, Robbie Williams is, take that, suggested they'd like a reunion with Robbie Williams and the little pepped up prescription drug addict rehab person he is, jumped on the opportunity to salvage his sinking career and immediately said yes. Even though one party have said we want him 
And then the other party, you know, the bloke with the funny paedophile face, has said, Oh, yeah, I'd love to do it. Why have it, hasn't it happened then? Um, I have no idea, and I, I hate Robbie Williams. Because he, he's, he, well, no, in fairness, a lot of people go, oh yeah, he's actually depressed. That says maybe he actually suffers from depression. There are people in Iraq who don't suffer from a depression, who've had, like, their houses blown up. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, um, I like Ike, no, I'm not I Like Ike Show, okay, I'll be honest. My name's Ike Marsden, I am in the I Like Ike Show, which I've given up. I don't know, it's a show in name, but I've given up with the whole opening credit, it's just me talking now. Anyway, if you liked it, subscribe over there. Yeah, I still haven't got this yet. You see people who just go, oh, I did it, subscribe. Yeah, just click the orange button and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, it won't hurt. Um, You'll get my videos on your little homepage thing. If you really don't like them, all you have to do is click on them, and then as soon as the page changes, just click back to the button on YouTube at the top. And you won't even have to watch them, but I'll have an extra subscriber and I'll feel warm inside. Rate this five stars, because you know you want to. Rate it, appreciate it. Make a comment. Don't make a comment saying, Spiders don't have a billion blah 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 blah. Don't make, okay, that, that, didn't, that wasn't very explanatory, was it? That, that didn't help anyone. Don't just give, like, horrible bad comments. Uh, I sound a bit weak there. You know, you can do, but it just it makes life difficult because I'm just going to block you and delete your comments. So I'm not saying just say nice stuff about me. If you've got something constructive to say, say it. Just don't call me a little whiny English meh. You know? Sorry, I ended on a bit of a, not a negative. Thank you very much for watching.